I don't know why I've done this. It's Tyson Fury. Oh my god. <laughs> and then bleaching them. Why not? What we've got to lose? You only live once. I have paid a psychic to draw my soulmate. Well, let's cut to the chase. The person that she has drawn is this fella. I look at you. You make me blind. Why do you have to be so beautiful all the time? I know I can't be with you. It's killing me to see you with someone else. What to do? Now I'm in the corner and watching you smile. Watching you smile. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another lockdown vlog. I'm actually starting the vlog in a little bit of a different way this morning. So. Currently, my mum and I are out for a walk. Not just any old walk, we are on Pet Detective Watch this morning because last night or yesterday, a little dog in the village where we live went missing. And we actually have a Facebook page for our village and this lady posted that her dog had got out or had run away or something. And he, I checked this morning and he still hasn't come back. It's a little chihuahua, so we're just going to look for him in the place where she said he escaped from and just like around that area. And we're just walking along. We have no dog with us, obviously. And we're just calling out Teddy. That's his name, obviously. Teddy, what's this? Come on, Teddy. Teddy, what's this? Come on, Teddy. What an exciting way to start a Friday. I'm doing some parkour now through the woods. Can you see him? Can't see him. Teddy. No. It's not in here. So a quick update on Teddy the Chihuahua. Unfortunately, we've been out for about an hour and a half and we haven't found him. I think we might come out again this evening because we are allowed more than one walk a day now. And we might just pop out just to have another look, but I'm going to keep an eye on the Facebook post to see if anyone else finds him. But yeah, no luck this morning, unfortunately. Hope you're okay, Teddy, if you're watching. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. I've been home for a little while now, actually. I've just had lunch. Um, sorry if you can hear my neighbours doing some soaring or whatever they're doing. I'm going to redo my nails because, oh my God, they look horrendous. This is what they look like. So not the worst nails in lockdown, but they're still pretty outgrown. And I get a lot of questions about my nails, actually, and the nail lamp that I use and all the different bits and bobs. I thought I'd run through it with you quickly while I do it. Also woke up this morning and my skin has had a bit of a breakout. Luckily, yesterday, the lovely team over at Biore actually sent me a couple of products. So I tried them out this morning. The first is this gentle pore refining scrub. This isn't sponsored, by the way. They just gifted me these products, but it looks so pretty. It felt really lovely on my skin kind of like not exfoliating <laughs> my hay fever is so bad today love that for me anyway what's I saying yeah I wouldn't say it was like mega exfoliating but it felt like it was cleaning out my pores so I guess that kind of is exfoliating and then I also used the daily purifying cleanser and after I used this combo my skin did feel really really nice this morning very fresh a lot tighter in fact, I sound so nasally apologies for that my eyes are ridiculously itchy does anyone else get really bad hay fever I'm prescribed medication from the doctor already so there's not that much more they can do but I think the medication I'm on is like a very high dose of Fexofenadine is the worst things going on in the world right now. The colour of my nails at the minute, I believe, is called Peach Passion. I've had quite a few questions, and it's a blue sky nail varnish. The one I'm going to use next is this lilac colour, and this is in the shade Just Ride. I'm excited to do lilac. First thing I'm going to do is take this nail varnish off. So the first process is to file off what I can, just like the top layer and stuff. And then I use these little lint-free wipes from, I get these on Amazon, and they also come with this duo, so I'll use the remover. Put one pad on each nail, and then I use tin foil to wrap my nails up, and it soaks the gel nail polish off and everything like that, and then just file it all off and make sure it's all gone. I've actually been so glad during lockdown that I don't get acrylics done anymore, just because they're so easy to change myself. And I really enjoy doing my nails. I feel like it's a little bit of a pamper session. It's a little treat. I find it really exciting changing the colours and buying new colours. I think each colour is about £7.50, so they're not the cheap but it's so satisfying to gradually build up your collection. Also, the nail lamp that I use is this Sun UV LED lamp. I just got this on Amazon, but this is the same brand that the nail salon I used to go to uses. And it's got like 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and 99 seconds. And obviously when you turn it on, 
ta-da! It all lights up inside and it cures the nail varnish. I literally can't fault it. It wasn't the most expensive one on Amazon. I really like it. I'm going to link all of this in the description down below because I genuinely really enjoy doing my nails. I'm also going to use this nail kit to like shape my cuticles and cut off any little like hang naily type bits. Not gonna lie guys, that took a lot longer than I was expecting because I definitely got distracted by Dead to Me and accidentally watched four episodes. <laughs> I've just finished my nails. Here they are. They're lilac, they're cute. I'm gonna be totally honest, that's the only thing I've done today. Well, technically. I went to look for the lost dog, didn't find the lost dog, decided to paint my nails, spent about three hours doing it and now we're here. That's all I've done. But you know what? This is just the reality of lockdown. We are in a global pandemic right now. Not every day is gonna be productive. Yesterday was a very productive day. Today, the complete opposite. I actually just posted a TikTok today and considered that productive, so, you know. Highs and lows. But one exciting thing did happen today. We actually restocked the Candid website. And just in case you don't follow me over on Instagram, we have actually added sizes 2XL and 3XL to the entire collection now. That's something I really wanted to do from the very beginning of the launch. And we did plan to do that at the very beginning. But unfortunately, due to coronavirus, some of the sizes were a little bit harder to source. So it took a little bit longer for us to get those in stock. But we've got them now. They're all in the warehouse, ready to be printed and stitched. Like I've said before, every product Product is made to order so we're not wasting any products it's way better for the environment that way and I'm so glad that the first lot of you have received your candid orders now the winner of the Tiffany necklace will have received her order I just think do you know what I'd consider it a success and if you want to go and check it out head on down to the description of this video because there will be a link in the top line of the description but anyway might make some muffins blueberry muffins blueberries 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 that video never gets old. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. It's Tyson Fury, and this time Tyson's got matching loungewear. Ooh, how cute are these slippers? They're like little flip flops. Love them. They're from Bow Avenue. Today, my lovely friends, family, and fans of Tyson Fury, we are going to be making blueberry muffins. I've already said that. I said that with such confidence, like there was a moment of tension. Because we've got some leftover bloobs here. Oh my god, <laughs> nearly killed me off. Blueberry muffins, super quick, super easy. Famous last words, probably. Right, step one. What is step one? She says it's super easy, but she still has the recipe here. <laughs> Flour, 195 grams today. <laughs> then we get Steve the sieve. <laughs> Tap, 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 Arguably the worst part of baking. I wonder if Tyson Fury, the living legend, knows that he's a regular feature in these lockdown vlogs. 150 grams of granulated sugar. Into the bowl. Two teaspoons of baking powder. This might be out of date. Does it matter? I don't think so. And a little bit of fine sea salt, or your standard salt and pepper shaker will do. I think. Right, measuring jug. Apparently I need 80 millilitres of oil. That's news to me. Not gonna lie to you, my friends. I've run out of oil. We're always well stocked in this household. Well stocked on the old crisp and dry. That's too much. Never mind, I've poured it now. Whoops, that's also too much. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. When do I put the butter in? Oh, I don't. Well, that makes my life easy. You'd think that by week 11 in lockdown, I'd have learned how to crack an egg, but apparently not. Da -da, da -da, da -da -da. After that time, I nearly forgot to put the bananas in the banana bread. Oh, wait, <laughs> I forgot the bananas. <laughs> I get so paranoid about checking I've put all the ingredients in now. Only thing I've got left is blueberries, I think. Ta da! Siri, what do I do if my cake mixture is too runny? So I put a bit more flour in and thought I'd hope for the best. And not gonna lie, I think he's done the job right nice. Good luck, Charlie. Ta-da. This is how the blueberry muffins turned out. I feel like I might have made these in lockdown because I swear I said something about the River Thames running through one of my baked goods. This is kind of similar, not gonna lie. A few of them did get a little bit burnt, but this one was all right. I managed to salvage it. Hopefully they taste good. But recently, my mum and I have been watching this series called The A Word. My dad hasn't really got into it, but we're really enjoying it. It's basically about a family with a little boy who's autistic. It's not a crime program. It's not really a drama. Drama. It's just easy to watch. It has me hooked, but it's just a nice program. So I'm gonna eat me blueberry muffin, have a cup of tea, got me nice slips on, and watch the A word. Living my best life. Oh my god, I just ate that in the weirdest way. Has that triggered anyone else? Sorry about it. I'm quite bored today, guys. I'm not gonna lie. So bored, in fact, that I've done this. 
and I don't know why. I mean, I think it looks quite good, but... Oh, it's a leaning tower of Pisa. Oh my god, that actually quite hurts. I didn't think it was going to work, to be honest with you. I didn't think it was actually going to go in a straight line. I don't know why I thought that, but I had to try it once I had that thought. And it did work, so... Ding, 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 ding. This isn't even every single scrunchie that I own on my head. But this is most of them, I have to admit. I bought them on Amazon. <laughs> Literally bought a pack of, like, 20 scrunchies. I think it was, like, £6. Oh my god, I'm like a unicorn. <laughs> or it could be a palm tree. It's at this point in lockdown where I'm starting to think, how am I going to be released back into civilization? The people aren't going to accept me anymore. I've changed. <laughs> This is very satisfying, let me tell you that. Whew. She feels free, free as a bird. Well, well, well. First of all, before you decide I'm insane, can we just take a minute to appreciate how cute this set is? Look at these little shorts with the poppers and the elastic waistband. I absolutely love the colour of this. Don't know how well you can see it, but it's like a towel material. Was definitely overpriced. But do you know what? I'm just living my best lockdown life. I'll leave a link to the set in the description down below. Although I think it is quite hard to get hold of it because it's selling out quick. Okay. Let's have a chat. So I'm guessing the title of this vlog will probably be something to do with what I'm about to talk about. I think this is the final straw. I think this officially classifies me as being at rock bottom because I have paid a psychic to draw my soulmate. The person they envision in my future for the rest of my life, me and this soul shall be at one one day. Obviously I'm not taking this too seriously. I just thought it would be a laugh. There was a massive discount on it as well so I'm hoping it's going to be good because I paid £25 for this which already I think is quite expensive but if she really is going to like draw a person for me and describe what he's going to be like I suppose she can't just magic that out of thin air unless she's copy and paste into every single person that buys one. But the main thing I'm trying to say is I may have paid £25 but the original price of this was 85 pounds. 85 squid. That's like at least seven nandos. So mystery man, saying that, she could have drawn a woman. If she'd have drawn a woman, I'd have wanted a refund because I am definitely straight and her psychic powers were not working that day. But lucky for me, she has described said soulmate as him. Is that lucky though? A male for the rest of my life. Who wants him? Just kidding. So I bought this on Etsy and she also guaranteed a 24 hour delivery. She's emailed over the drawing and the description of him. First of all, let's cut to the chase. The person that she has drawn is this fella. Now, that looks like 95% of straight males between the age of 20. 20 and 30. So I mean, doesn't really narrow it down too much. She could have given me something to look out for, like an ear piercing or a nose piercing or a moustache. Not a moustache actually. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's got something about them. Would have been handy if she told me that thing. The only details I had to tell her was my full name and my date of birth. I reckon she's done a quick Facebook search, sussed me out a little bit. She is based in California though, so I don't know how easily she would have found me. But I reckon she's got like a few drawings in the bank and maybe she just distributes them out between people. Maybe I'm being negative. Maybe she did draw this in 24 hours. Why is he giving me John Travolta vibes though? His neck to head ratio is a little bit suspicious. His neck looks quite wide. That's making me think potentially a rugby player. That's just me being optimistic though. The eyebrows are not fab but don't worry hun I can sort that out. He's got a nice jawline, a nice chin shape. His face is a nice shape. <laughs> He has got great hair though, that is one thing I will say. I'm chuffed with that hair. As for his origins and his nationality, I think it's quite hard to tell from this picture. She's definitely sent this to more people than just me. He's dressed quite smart though, I think. No face tattoos, which is a bonus. If he'd have come out looking like a BTEC Post Malone, I'm not gonna lie, I'd have been disappointed. It's the real deal or nothing when it comes to boys like Post Malone. Anyway, she's written a proper description for me, so I'm gonna read through that quickly. I'll pick out the important bits, like the interesting parts for you, because all of it is not important. The person revealed as being your soulmate is a man who can be described as a very spiritual one. First of all, she's gonna say that because clearly I'm quite a spiritual person if I've paid a psychic to draw my soulmate. So well done, Sunshine. He will always remain a dreamer, no matter what life brings. He has a vivid imagination. That's good. Hopefully he can imagine that I'm better looking than I am. Your soulmate has a constant state of reshaping himself and this is to get closer to the end goal. So I may have to learn about a new personality every year. Fab, just joking. You work on yourself, honey. You will complement each other perfectly and can function well together. I mean, if you look up the definition of a soulmate, 
that is probably it. You will feel that you have found a soulmate in each other. Oh, good. So I haven't wasted 25 pounds. At least this is actually my soulmate. Thank God for that. I thought I'd wasted my money. The key to a successful love match resides in patience. Ain't got that. And willingness to meet the other halfway. Haven't got that either. I'll have to learn. His sense of self-sacrifice makes him very compassionate and tolerant. Woo, that's good. He'll be able to tolerate me. Well done, my love. Props to you. It comes with a warning though. Please be aware that opening the path for your drawing is the equivalent of turning the face of the universe to your soul. The information you received is confidential. Oh. And you should not release to any other soul because the consequences could lead to an energy blockage of your aura and it will interfere with the connection between you and him. I've just sacrificed my soulmate to you guys. <laughs> Oh god, I don't want that to bother me, but that does kind of bother me that I've just said all that out loud. Like I said, I'm quite a spiritual person. I've just got to tell myself, Han, it's just an email. She sent this to everyone. I only cost 25 quid. Surely the universe is not going to punish me for sharing that. Please, universe. Maybe he's not the one anyway. Maybe she's just got her vibes wrong with this one. Right now, your vibration levels aren't aligned and calibrated towards each other, and it could take 17 months before you will meet each other. 17 months? 17 months. Let me look in my calendar. I'll make sure I make lots of plans. October of 2021. October next year. It's when I'm gonna meet him. Right, I need to make sure that I'm planning to go out every weekend. <laughs> Possibly a few outings midweek as well. I need to give myself a full opportunity. October 2021, I'm gonna forget that. So please, one of you guys remind me, Han, this is the soulmate month. If you want to learn more about how to calibrate your vibrations and accelerate the entire process, Please check out my ebook, obviously. Also, if you want to learn how to unleash the hidden powers of your mind, I prepared my second ebook. Mate, I think I've been ripped off here. But two things we've learned from this. This could be what he looks like, and I might meet him next October. So there we go. There's that. Cost me 25 quid that. But on the plus side of telling you guys about this soulmate, if you do know anyone that happens to look like this and sounds like the person I've just described, please send them my way. <laughs> just tell them to message me on Instagram. Tell them to open with the line, hi, I'm your soulmate. If someone DMs me that, you bet I'm gonna open it. <laughs> anyway, there's that. What should we call him? Jeremy? No. Greg? Greg. I do love a Greg though. Jamie? No, that's a J. How about you guys give him a name in the comments down below? Let's have a little competition. Name Hannah's soulmate. This is what he looks like. What do you think his name is? And if one of you turn out to be right, you are coming to the wedding. And you have my word on that. Jesus, maybe Etsy psychics are the scammers of our generation. <sighs> It's my own fault. It really is. I've done it again. I've lost the plot. It's a little while later and my hay fever is driving me crazy. My eye is so itchy. I'm really trying not to scratch it though. But anyway, I got this jumper from Misguided a while ago. Actually, it's a sweatshirt and I'm not gonna lie, on the website it said pastel blue. It was a really, really nice colour. And then it arrived and all the packaging it was in said pastel blue, like it all matched up. But the colour is so different. Like, look at the colour of this. That's actually coming up lighter on camera as well. It's actually more like this colour in real life. But I actually saw on TikTok the other day that people are kind of like scrunching up their jumpers like this in a spiral and then bleaching them. So I'm going to try that and see what it looks like. I mean, I haven't got much to lose really. If it goes awfully and it looks really bad, then I'll just bleach the whole thing and it'll be like white or pastel bluish. But... I love a bit of tie-dye. When I tie-dyed this jumper in the camel colour, I absolutely loved doing it and I've worn it so much as well. So let's give it a go. I put an old outfit on. This is my designated tie-dye t-shirt. And then I also found these old denim shorts, but I actually love them. They fit me so well. I think I only got them last year, but I didn't really get a chance to wear them. I'm pretty sure they were from In The Style, but I love the little pleats. I think they're adorable. Okay. I've just decided I'm gonna do a pair of jeans as well. So I saw one of my friends Sophie do this with her pair of mum jeans and she basically bleached one side of them and then the opposite pocket. So I think I'm gonna do that with these. Hers looks so nice. I'll link her video in the description down below because I've just watched it again and saw exactly what she did. So I'm gonna try that as well. Let's go and do it. Come on, Huns. Why not? What we've got to lose? You only live once. La 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 lunch. I'm just saying. Here's what I like. Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes. Laughing with my friends under the sky. Following our hearts with them, we take a ride. So the jeans are hanging up here now. I'm not gonna lie, I thought the colour was gonna come out straight away and it hasn't, but there are a few patches where it looks like it's going white. 
So I've just hung them up and we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens to see how they turn out. Apparently, if it hasn't worked, we can put this leg in boiling water and hopefully that'll help it come out. Just gotta wait and see, I guess. I hope they work though. Sophie's looks so cool. I always try to live my spirit fly, fly away. That's the only way to get that high. Okay, little bit of a fail. They're still drying. I mean, like, they're still absolutely soaked because it's only about an hour and a half later. But you can quite clearly see a difference between these two. However, this is wet. But, like, when it's dried, there, you can barely tell which one is the one that's been bleached. I don't know why it hasn't worked. I feel like maybe I need to do it again. You can kind of see the tiniest bit of difference. I've done this pocket. Tiny bit of difference between that and that, but not really. I want this to be completely white like completely and then this is the front of them so this is the side that i've bleached that's just water that's not bleached so i mean i don't think they're going to get much lighter overnight but i can hope once i've done it again i'll update on my instagram story so go and follow me over on insta to see the final result and in the meantime please keep your fingers crossed for me and any advice for bleaching jeans these are cotton jeans with a little bit of polyester in so if anyone knows how to bleach them and get them completely white i would really appreciate any advice and as for the blue sweater sweatshirt looks much worse than before it just looks like i've accidentally got bleach on it now so guys it is now half past nine it is 12 hours before this video goes live and i hope you enjoyed this little lockdown vlog i hope you enjoyed meeting my soulmate not that i've got a soulmate now because i told you all about him but anyway don't forget to name my soulmate in the comments down below and let me know what's the best thing that's happened to you this week if you enjoyed this vlog please do give it a big thumbs up as it really helps me out and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i can promise you the lockdown vlogs won't stop until lockdown does anyway guys thanks for watching have a lovely sunday and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love ya love you soulmate if you're watching